Review, the 2023 Nissan Z digs into the past to exceed expectations. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you. Thank you. Z is more than just a letter to a dedicated fan base of car enthusiasts, my family among them. My uncle Robert, known as UNC, owned every model of Z, except the 260, until he died of cancer in 1997. His blue on blue 1993 Z times 2 plus 2 now sits in my garage and my kids ride in the back seat like I once did with UNC behind the wheel. The Z lives on with a new generation for 2023 thanks to dedicated enthusiasts within Nissan. It's not a secret the new Z is based on the previous Z34 generation. On paper, the changes made to the Z fix the issues of the 370Z and 350Z, while also rekindling enthusiasts' desire to own the iconic Japanese sports car. I hadn't driven it yet, though, so I reserved judgment until I could get behind the wheel. Recently, I spent a long weekend comparing and contrasting the 2023 Nissan Z with my family's 1990Z32 300ZX, and here's where I landed on where the new car hits and where it misses. After a two-plus decade hiatus, turbochargers are once again bolted to the Z's engine. The outgoing 3.7-liter V6 has been replaced by the Infiniti Q60 Red Sports Twin Turbo 3.0-liter V6 rated at a healthy 400 horsepower and 350 lbft of torque. The last twin turbo Z from the 90s lit up like a firecracker when the turbos kicked in all the way up at 4,500 rpm. The new Z has a more modern feel, but also a character of its own. Most modern turbocharged engines deliver their power immediately and the torque stays at the ready for much of the rev range. In the 2023 Z, torque comes on low and the horsepower builds as the revs climb, with the best power coming on at around 3,600 rpm. With the six-speed manual, judicious shifting is required to keep the engine on boil. Go into a corner in too high a gear or with too few revs and you'll be out of the power band when exiting the corner and have to immediately downshift or wait for the power to build. If you want ready power at all times, this isn't the engine for you. If you want a naturally aspirated feel with pull through the entire rev range, you'll be happy. I was happy as the power built in similar fashion as the naturally aspirated VG 3.0 liter V6 in the family's 1993 ZX. The 2023 Z Performance model comes standard with Bridgestone Potenza S007 tires size 265-40R19 in the front and 275-35-R19 in back. While they might grip hard on the track, according to our first drive review, they are a disappointment on the street. Even with the performance model's limited slip rear differential, the tires struggle to put the power down on dry pavement. On the highway, the Potenzas are loud, though they don't tramline. They feel hard and aren't progressive in the way they give up grip around a corner. In the wet, they feel twitchy and unstable on the highway, and have little grip around corners. A different set of tires would be my first order of business if I were to buy a Z.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.